Hey, hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. God bless you. This message is for one of preparation that you need to get ready. The Lord is saying that there is another COVID coming. There is another COVID, another set of plagues, pestilence, whatever you want to call it, that is coming. The Lord said it, and it's going to be far worse than what we've experienced beforehand in the past uh, few years. So the Lord is saying that this will kill millions more so than what was uh, beforehand. So the Lord is saying, stock up and be prepared. This is the message I've given many times in the past before in other videos. And you know, I've heard other, you know, brothers and sisters and people online telling people to stock up, get prepared. You have all those preppers in their channels talking about, you know, stock up and be prepared. So when, you know, times like this come that you're ready, now is the time. So take your time as you know as you possibly not take your time you know be intentional about stocking up and being prepared the lord's saying that you're not going to be able to go out like you you know we've been able to do so within these last you know couple of years you won't be able to go out and that masks are going to be enforced i think i even heard another brother you know a few some time ago talking about gas masks you guys gas masks so but that's outside of it the lord's saying though that masks will be enforced yet again rest assured Many will perish, the Lord says. Be prepared. Buy food and stock up. Buy food and stock up. The Lord said also in regards to clothes. If you can buy extra clothes, get them and set them aside because you won't have access to be going to the stores like, you know, we've been able to do now. Buy these things, whether it's food, whether it's, you know, different necessities around the house, toiletries, clothes, shoes, whatever it may be. If you see different things, whether it's on clearance, whatever it may be, you know, whatever your pockets can afford, buy things and set it aside. And for yourself, your family, and if you can, maybe even for others as well, if the Lord is, you know, put that and place it in your heart to be of service and help others. But be prepared and stock up. The Lord is saying also in regards to for parents, you know, for who have infants, buy baby formula and put these things aside because there's not going to be any. You know, we've had a scare uh, over the plat it was over the last year where you know parents weren't able to buy baby formula, so a lot of people were concerned. What do I do? Again, we're going to come into a season having that same issue. So buy baby formula, and also as well for parents, if you're you know pregnant now or planning on getting pregnant within the next year or so you need to start putting things aside because again there won't be access to these types of things uh so whether it's you know buying a crib buying your bassinet buying your diapers buying all these things buy it in faith and put it aside set up that room even put do that in faith but buy these things put them aside and so you have them so when your baby comes or babies if the lord has blessed you with multiples make sure that you've set these things up ahead of time and you have them to the side that's the message the lord has given me several times for uh, different people that he's uh, spoken to me about who um you know the lord has given them a blessing for um for pregnancy that they need to put the buy these things ahead of time and set it aside also the lord is saying um again you're not going to have access to these things so get them ahead of time he kind of switched and then he said also eat healthy the lord is saying eat healthy he says leave meat alone leave meat alone and i think that, again i've done messages about this probably a couple of years ago a year or so ago where the lord is saying leave the meat that's in these stores leave it alone and if you look at the news you see all these crazy stories about them you know pumping the meat full of stuff whether the chicken's full of hormones or the you know on pink slime and some of these maybe the beef or whatever it is these little um ground up beef types of stuff the lord is saying though it's all loaded in chemicals leave these meats alone the lord says it's not real again you have that concern also they're talking about doing what 3d printing of meat and so what you get on the store shelf is not even real it looks real it may taste real but it is not real the lord is saying leave it alone leave it alone and that the lord the powers that be are how do I say? They are creating it. It's what God said. The Lord is saying, uh, pigs also. I had a vision of pigs while I was uh, writing out what the Lord was. I was hearing Him say, and the Lord's saying that uh, the, they are slaughtering sick. So if you eat pig, you know, um, or anything from a pig, the Lord is saying that they are slaughtering the sick, and that's what's being fed to you, and that what you know, maybe the good stock that's being set and put apart for the rich. Uh, but in regards to that particular animal, then that they are slaughtering the sick, and that's what's being fed to you. And then also the Lord said as well that leave the city. So this is a multifold uh, message. Again, I've given similar messages like this before. The Lord is saying, leave the city, get prepared, be ready for things are that are to come. I think I gave this one probably like January of 2021, maybe. 
or to, yeah, what year is this? 2000, or maybe 2022. The Lord's saying, leave the city, uh, God said, and head to the country and plan and prepare, stock up for worse times are on the way. Be prepared, the Lord said, all right? And that you will prosper if you take heed and listen to, the, what, to what he's saying right now in this season. There is still time. Do what you can. I know everybody's pocket, everybody's, you know, situation in regards to their finances are different. This is something that you can, you know, kneel down and pray. You talk to the Lord. You get together with your family. Maybe you pull together with other family members or other people that you feel compelled to, hey, you know, let's do this. And, you know, you talk and you work things out and see what can be done together so that you can be together, pull together and help each other out during this particular time uh, so that you're not alone. Some people may be able to do it and, you know, not blink about it at all. So again, that's something you need to pray and talk to God about uh, also as well. But again, take heed to the word of the Lord uh, during this season. Troubled times are coming. We already see in some places they were already doing masks. You know, they've, you know, reintroduced masks again. I think there's a school I saw in Georgia and I think another place, uh, I can't remember where right now, where they are, um, you know, in the hospital, I think it was a hospital and they were like, hey, we're going back to using masks again. So, and we see there's some new variant that's out there. So I don't know what's going to happen, what will take place. Uh, but again, the Lord is saying something worse is coming and it's going to be worse and it's going to be bad and that many people will perish with this. So uh, take heed and trust in the Lord. Also, the Lord said, last thing he said, that the vaccines, these flu vaccines, uh, that they are laced with COVID. So it's not just the flu vaccine. If you're used just to getting your flu vaccine every year, it's not just the flu vaccine. It's f the flu vaccine and COVID uh, vaccine whether it's the main thing or boost or whatever it may be it's all lodged in there together and so to be mindful of that if that's you know something that's of concern to you maybe you got the flu vaccine but you know covid vaccine wasn't something that you got and then you know now this year if you want to go get your typical flu vaccine then to know that hey this is in there so be mindful ask your questions you know when you're going in talk to your physicians get the information that you need i know there's a lot of people that are against um having the vaccine some people are for it some people are against it Again, that's something that you need to pray about and seek the Lord and ask him what's best for you and to do what's good for you and for your family as well. But pray and present it to God. But definitely also as well, I would encourage you, prepare, prepare, prepare. This is not to be something as a scare tactic uh, to um, make you fearful and afraid. The Lord says that we are not to be afraid. We're not to be fearful. But again, as I've said in previous videos, that the Lord warns his people ahead of time so that you can plan and you can prepare and also pray as well. Cover your house in prayer. Cover your family in prayer. Cover the things that you have in prayer. So whenever, you know, whatever is to come, uh, that the Lord will, you know, cover and keep during that time. I know Psalms 91 was a very big, um, how do I say, prayer that many were praying all over the world. So pray Psalms 91 and commit yourself to the Lord God and allow him to lead you and guide you. Uh, during this particular time and season that we may be, uh, well, not maybe, that will come uh, ahead of us. Uh, but again, pray, present it to God, talk to him, and do what you can. Again, we're not just going to pray and sit down. Oh, God's got it. You have to be intentional. So make a list, you know, figure out what you need to do, make the space, and stock up, be prepared, you know, put things aside. If you, you know, feel impressed to move, you know, pray about it, ask the Lord God, where do I go? What do I do? Should I stay here or do I leave from where I am? Talk to the Lord God, see what he has to say and ask him again what should i do should i move here or should i stay here do i what do i buy do i buy this do i buy that how much of it do i buy and again just allow the lord god to lead and guide you let that be first and foremost and all that you do before you do anything all right you guys but be intentional do not be fearful do not be afraid and talk to the Lord, allow him to lead you and guide you and do whatever it is that you can and tell others also as well so that they can get ready and so that they are not taken aback, you know, when we start seeing things in the news, uh, whenever, you know, things may come. So we're here now. It's the end of August when I'm recording this. It's the 20, I can't remember what day it is, you guys. It's towards the end of the month. <laughs> oh, I think it's the 24th, you guys. But yeah, August the 24th. But make sure then, um, you know, we're getting ready to head into the fall season. And, you know, all that sniffles and stuff picks up during this time of the year and as we head fall season and into the winter. So do what you can. Keep your immune system up. And, you know, there's great remedies, natural remedies online, you know, and uh, 
do whatever it is that you need to do. But be healthy, stay strong, trust in the Lord, do not fear, be intentional, and prepare. All right, you guys, I love you very much. Thank you for taking the time to listen if you've made it this far in the video. And thank you for subscribing and liking and all that good YouTube stuff. And I pray that the Lord will continue to bless and keep you. I'm praying for you. I know that Jesus loves you, you know. He loves you so much and that he's looking out for you. And even though your resources may be small, some of you guys may be concerned about that. Know that the Lord will provide for you. He will provide for you. He sees you. He knows you. He will provide. All right. Take care.